Hey guys, we are going to make some ATCs today. This is our Tuesday session, so let's get started. I still have a pile of stuff right here from yesterday uh, that I was working with in our Traveler's Notebook. And if you missed that session, this is kind of how things turned out. We lost the, we lost the second part of the footage because we were interrupted and we could not get back to where we were starting from. So I've got art trading card blanks cut. Now these are two and a half by three and a half. I thought we'd do six today. When you cut your art trading cards, I always use food packaging. That way you can kind of flip them over and you can have some, you can have color and ideas to kind of take off as you are making your art trading cards. So you're not starting with a blank palette. You know, we're breaking the page by, <laughs> by using what we have. Uh, which in this case are illustrations on food packaging. So let's just, let's start with this baby. Of course, you can always um, just do, you know, if you want a blank page, you can flip it over and have a blank page. So we got the blank page as well as the uh, almost started for us page. So let's do this one first. Because I'm just really digging this blue over here with the, the little ice cream cone and the sprinkles. Uh, so what we'll want to do is kind of cover that up. And we're using calendars from last year. You know, if you go to the thrift store, you're going to find a whole bunch of those. You know, or, you know, if, if you're... Um, if you're, <laughs> if you're like me, my beautiful friends give me their leftover calendars, which I really do appreciate. And, uh, you know, I really had intentions on using those buggers, but, you know, that didn't quite happen. I love the ice cream cone. I love this strip of blue. This one's going to be super simple, my dear friends. I'm not going to do very much with that because, I mean, you've already kind of got... A little building element you've already got your your art trading card halfway done when you access the art that is already on your food packaging so I think I'm going to kind of I'm gonna put that here and then I'm just kind of scouting around for a word but I don't see anything yet so let's move on to this. Now these are soda crackers. Love soda crackers. Cannot tell you the amount of soda crackers I've probably eaten in my life when I was pregnant with both of my children. <laughs> Instead of gaining weight, I lost weight <laughs> because I was so sick the entire time uh, that I was pregnant. I did, uh, I managed to gain 10 pounds with one child and I gained 15 with the second one. So, you know, at the beginning of my pregnancy, I would always lose weight because I was just deathly ill. And, and I ate a lot of salting crackers. It was really the only way that I could kind of um, get moving. <laughs> in the morning was to have saltine crackers. Um, I'm not seeing a word that I want to use here yet. Uh, these are Eggo waffles. Chris loves Eggo waffles. I'm not uh, into that sort of sweet, sweet, sweetness. I'm using a piece that Miss C sent along. These are gift tags that she has painted. And I... Uh, I love that she did that and sent it to me. I just think it's a super cool thing. So we're going to pull these off. So we've got this to work with. If you have not seen my video about painting gift tags, I will put an iCard in the right corner of the video. So you can pop on over and look at that little technique video. Don't you love that? Isn't that just fun? 
Okay, what do we want to do here? I don't have a lot of images. I just kind of pulled some things out that we were working with. I'm trying to find something that might go. Kind of like that. You know, with all this stuff we got going on here. Kind of looks spooky, so I think I'm going to use that. See, we picked up on the yellow, right? We kind of picked up on that yellow of the food packaging. So, you know, you aren't breaking quite a blank page there. I think that is so cute. And then I think I'm going to use this. Cut this off enough to use here. And then you know, maybe the witchy lady is sitting on the moon and she's got the the funky night sky in the background and she's talking to her owl about spell number 22. Ha! Oh, how fun. Thank you, Miss C, for sending that along. Appreciate that. And this is a um, Miss J or Miss E. I can't remember which one. Might be Miss E. All right, so we've got these few things to, to play around with, too. And we still got this. I like the QR codes. I think they're interesting. So what we'll do is we'll kind of build around the QR code here. So let's um let's start building this way. I like the words learn more. So I think we're even going to uh, I think we're even going to use that cuz that's kind of cool. And it's also written in Spanish. So we're going to keep the learn more. Don't you love this? I mean, calendars are just the best. such rich imagery. You have blocks, you have numbers, you have days of the week, <laughs> have images. I mean, they're just like the total package, y'all. I think for down here, I kind of want to use this going this way. And then I think I'm going to put that same strip. These were just some leftover bits and pieces from our art trading on our traveler's notebook. I am rattled today and I'll tell you why. We have a prowler in the neighborhood. So that's, you know, that's just, that's why I'm a little rattled and I'm sorry. I'm sure you can probably go, what's wrong with her? Luckily, our neighbor is a police deputy, sheriff. So it's like, that's convenient. <laughs> um, okay. I love that learn more. I feel like it needs a pop of something. So, hmm. Well, there you go. And I think what I'm going to do is just do that right there. See, that's kind of cool. You took advantage of what you had to kind of build around it. You know, you had a little jump start there. Um, I think what I want to do with this one is start with a blank page. Because I see some colors over here that I'd really love to work with. So, I could do, do here or here. I like to work really fast. 
that's why I always man that's cool I like that that's kind of a steampunk ish theme going on here so your embellishments you know your purchased embellishments or the ones that you are blessed and gifted with uh, can always be kind of sectioned up and cut up and used in different ways so it's kind of fun um There we go. That says one way. There's a sign right there that says one way. I hope you can see it. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of trim the very end of this off. That's fun. All right. Now, <laughs> you know, you've got that little sunshine archy thing right there. So I'm thinking, huh, you know, that might be... Uh, you've got this. Now I'm thinking, probably need to find something a little circular. Oh, look, look up. There we go. So we're going to kind of use these. Guys, you got to try this. It's so much fun to paint, paint, um, so much fun to paint your leftover gift tags, especially if they've got a pop of gold on them. So let's see. I know what I want to do. I'm going to cover this up a little bit. I'm going to use this because even though it's snowfall, it kind of looks like the night sky. So we're going to do a sun moon card right here. So we've got our sun. We've got moons right there. If you are my patron, you guys will get a printable of this session. My tiers start at $5 and those are happy mail tiers. You'll find information in the description box below. Paint over address labels. And then we're going to put this here. Just like that. Now to finish these up, I do need like some words, I feel like. <laughs> Didn't that turn out really fun? <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, and the only thing that I'm seeing over here is some, uh, is some, like, um, you know, backs of calendars. I'm not going to go digging. I don't want to dig. I'm just going to use what I have. I'm going to use Washington right here because that was a Washington Post calendar. There we go. That's neat. Now on the back of it, you can journal about recent events. And we're not going to talk about that. Anything, you know, celestial can be about days of the week, months of the year. You can use your numbers with like a celestial kind of event. You know, it'd be neat to find like a little bit that says full moon, new moon. Or a calendar. You know, I've got those little calendar bits right here. Let's just see how that works. Just, you know, just out of curiosity. Ah, being an artist. <laughs> being a crafty person, that means like curiosity. Okay, I like the calendar better. We'll use our calendar. I think I'm going to put it down here because I really like the, really like the 
sun rays there. We've got learn more right here. I'm going to pick up the word Saturday and put that right there. Again, you know, these will be recycled into the flow journals that I make. I like recycled art, friends. I found a really nice, this says Independence Day. Remember we were using our calendar, so we had uh, you know, we had these big blocks of color, and then we had images. And then we've got numbers, days of the week, months of the year. Independence Day really goes really nicely with uh, the ice cream cone. I maybe should have put that there, but nope, I'm going to leave it like it is. Okay, we've got one more. Let's see what kind of things we have over here. I like that. That's kind of picking up on that dark blue. So we'll use this. There we go. And what word are we going to use here? Let's see if we can find a day of the week. Because <laughs> that always works nice. Um, okay. This says begins at sunset. And I kind of like that. Oh, I like this too. I think we're going to go with that. I'm going to go with the number six. Oh my goodness. What a day, y'all. Goodness me. Nice to sit down and do some art with my friends. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this time and space with y'all. I appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate the comments. Um, please check out the description box for more info. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Okay, let's see what we have. We have Washington. We have the number six, Independence Day, <laughs> Witchy Potion number 22, Saturday, and a sweet little calendar. Art trading cards for Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. See you soon. Bye.